Hello simulation fans and welcome again to another video on simulation stimulation. Today we will be talking about the best rally sim out there that has gotten even better. And as you probably know, I'm speaking about Richard Burns Rally Pro or RBR Pro. Today we will be checking what the final latest updates has improved in the sim, uh, what they have introduced and uh, one of the biggest features that no other rally sim has uh, has now been introduced into RBR Pro so let's get quickly into it so when you start the RBR Pro manager you go to settings as you probably know already Richard Burns rally already has VR implementation which is amazing for a game that's like 16 or 17 years old but recently as you probably can see here there has been lots of graphical uh, advancement now you can have ray tracing enabled ambient occlusion bloom god rays depths of field anti-aliasing methods particles effects shadows and all sort of things you can change and that will make the game look absolutely amazing but I don't have the PC powerful enough to enable those so I prefer to turn them off and uh, benefit from higher FPS and more smoothness but you can try it on your own PC maybe you have a good PC to enable those however those are not the main subject of today's video the main subject of today's video is this option when you go to the view tab there's a triple screen correction yes triple screen proper implementation with one small caveat we're gonna be talking about so I've enabled it and now let's start the game okay so now we're into the game we go to any stage let's say quick rally Greater Britain good conditions any car let's turn off the damage just in case and see what happens now when we launch the game so as you can see the image spans on three screens but there's no proper triple screen implementation or what we call multi projection so, or multi rendering so what we're gonna do is press alt and home at the same time on the keyboard and we have this window option gets open let's minimize it a bit so here are the three settings we care about triple monitor effects there's one that tackles the angle of the side monitors uh, from what uh, look look now from my experience it seems that this number could be a multiple of 10 so since I have 16 and uh, 60 degrees angled monitors I'm gonna use minus 6 as a correction as you can see now the screen is perfectly uh, the, the image is perfectly stretched on the three screens however since it's an old game and this is a post-processing effect let's say uh, the image doesn't get filled on the whole screen because it's a fixed image that is being modified it's like it's not like a 3d world around you let's say that other games have and maybe this will be improved in the future I'm not sure however I will show you now a uh, tip on how to change that maybe uh, so there's the curve which I'm not sure what is so different about the curve <laughs> than the angle they do seem to do absolutely the same thing and there's the zoom option the zoom option is very interesting because it zooms everything in and now as you can see the image fills my whole uh, FOV or my whole screens let's say but that comes at a cost because the the image will be blurry because I'm zoomed in uh, and I will not be able to see the UI which is the menus uh, the, the upcoming corner and all the callouts let's say so if I press alt home again I'm out of it 
Now, if I press escape, as you can see, I can barely see the bottom of the menu. There is a quick shortcut to move between processed and non-processed image, which, which is alt end. So now pressing alt end gives me the unprocessed default image. Pressing alt end again will show me the processed image that I have already uh, set up a while ago. Uh, so I usually uh, don't use the uh, zoom effect. I keep it at zero and I run my game like that. I mean, I know it's not perfect to triple screen monitors, but as you can imagine, that's like half a monitor here and half a monitor here. So I have two 16 by nine monitors or in other terms, one ultra wide 32 by nine monitor perfectly uh, you know stretched and perfectly aligned on my triple screen monitors and to me that's good enough as you probably know you can double right click uh, the mouse button on the, on the screen and this will get you the internal camera now I can uh, get closer get farther away I can get down get up in my seat position left right you know, I can also move the dashboard since it's it's a bit, uh, you know, cut. And now I have it perfectly vi visible. Save, right, double right click again, and I'm good to go. Six left, five right, three left, seventy. Five left. So. I already told you about a method to fill the whole screen but that will come at the expense of, of some clarity and now I will show you how to do it. We quit the game and we go to the RBR Pro Manager again. Uh, now uh, we go to the FOV setting which is here. And I double it, let's say, since I will be zooming in 1.5 times. Uh, I think uh, RBR uses vertical FOV or maybe diagonal. So I'm going to go with like 72, let's say, which is in the middle. And now I run the game. Now, as you can see, the FOV is, is very wide because we have used a not so realistic FOV for my setup. However, since we will be zooming in, it will counter that effect. So we go Alt Home again, we we'll bring that window here, and we go full zoom. Now, as you can see, it still fills my monitors. If I go minus, I, I'm not sure if, if like minus six is enough. It seems with the zoom you need to increase it a bit. Since we zoomed 1.5 times, 6 times 1.5 equals 9. So minus 9 should be enough. Increase it to minus 9. Alt home again. And now the game fills much more screen. I can double click the right mouse button to bring the dash and you know modify it as I see fit five left five right three left seventy five left so here you go guys it's amazing what the sim has been able to do with this amazing community the RBR Pro community and other communities they improved the physics the graphics uh, they improved the uh, you know the compatibility with all the peripherals uh, hand brakes uh, uh, you know shifters all sort of wheels DD wheels VR and now triple screen monitors uh, proper implementation it's amazing the job they have done so Please like the video if you liked it and if you want me to do a proper guide on RBR Pro that goes extensively into all the settings, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Ciao.